This is glorious f***ing hair, man. Oh, well yeah. done. Hey, what's up, Beard Brand fam? Bob the Barber here in the uh, one and only Beard Brand Barbershop in Austin, Texas. I got my boy Jordan here. He's been growing this out for a while. It's time to chop it off. Question is, where's Jesse? And where's Chris? Here I am, working harder than all of them <laughs> as I always am. <laughs> So I remember back in the day when I actually used to have to cut your hair, that we used to, we've done everything from like a classic, like just slick back, kind of slide part, pompadour stuff, uh, real classic looking. We've done, then this started, I yeah, remember we started doing like a, a, man, a, 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 yeah, a, let's, a hawk. Yeah, let's kind of do the hawk with maybe a little messy on top, short messy on top. Short messy hawk. on top. All right, man, let's, uh, let's do it. That's a good direction because I, otherwise I would have just started in the back and mowed you down. Um, that's where this haircut really started. Mm -hmm. And after that, you yeah. just grew the whole thing out. We'll finally convince you to chop it all off. Man, work. Yeah, work. so you are, a, uh, you are a, one of our, our brave firefighters yeah. here in Austin, saving lives every day. And uh, you can't do that when you've got hair in your eyeballs. Man, yeah. <laughs> Been fighting a lot of fire and trying to put that mask on and yanking 20 hairs out when I do it. It's not fun. If I put it up in a man bun at work, it's probably gonna get chopped off, so. <laughs> you know, as it should probably, but I could totally see that. Yeah, you're just like enjoying, I I don't enjoying your programs, just having a bowl yeah. of chili or something yeah, like that. Yeah, wow. <laughs> somebody get me. There's, there's nine people at that station, somebody get me. Dude, this is looking and feeling really good. What have you been doing like to just take care of it? Oh man. I got a whole little regiment, dude. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, my, my, wife, you well. my wife got me on a regiment, so. Got the, got the oils, got nice shampoo and conditioner, it no sulfates and all that shit. It makes a huge so. difference, man. It yeah. makes a huge difference in how you can style your hair, like how much stays in, on your head. Um, no, that's, uh, that's good on her and good on you for listening. Yeah, man. Yeesh. There it goes. Just like that. I didn't even think about it, by the way. I didn't like, want to say goodbye to it. I just nope. like, chopped into it real quick. Oh man, just like that. So how yeah. long do you think that this was? Like from like when you started growing it? Man, it's been pro it's been over a year and a half. I was I was fully buzzed, dude. Really? Yep. That is impressive. Any any word of advice to the guys who were kind of on the the fence about maybe starting that that journey uh, a little longer? Cuz this is like a proper It's a it's a process, yeah. dude. Like there is going to be an awkward phase. <laughs> you just got to push through it. Yeah. Uh, we used to have uh, a policy where men couldn't have yeah, it was long tight, hair. Tight it couldn't be like, man. yeah, uh, past a certain length. And then finally they were like, it's all right for y'all to do it. You guys still have a pretty tight policy on, on your facial hair. Facial oh, hair, yeah. Yeah, because you yeah, guys are we wearing can't, We can't have beards and stuff, and stuff like stuff. that. Yeah. Which is why a lot of y'all grow fantastic mustaches. Mustaches, yeah. All day long. I used to have one of those. Wife, the wife doesn't like did it. Did you did you have a did you have uh, like the no nah, man I had I had it where I, like... I curled it up man oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like that night and day like you yeah you, like if you just if you want to know what Jordan looked like when I used to cut his hair <laughs> just... <laughs> right there one of those things you see that gray starting to starting to shine through that's just wisdom man, man. that's just wisdom and hair form. And, and stress. Yeah, and, and, and a age, lot, a lot of and, that. And age and <laughs> I think I had, last time I had long hair was in high school, so that was, shit, 20 years ago. So I was like, man, bring it back. Dude, I, ha I haven't had anybody cut my hair besides you in, shit, and I don't know, four or five when I, years. That's when I wink. Yeah. And like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's dope, man. Yeah, I've, uh, I've been cutting hair longer than then you've had a baby, then you've owned yeah. a house. So yeah, to see you back in the chair with this like craziness is, is pretty fun. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you're supposed to cut hair, by the way. Don't, don't try this at home. Maybe leave a rat tail. Oh, I would love to. <laughs> I encourage it as often as a I can. A little braided rat tail. <laughs> I encourage it as often as I can. So this back portion, we're gonna leave some some fluff. So now that you got shorter hair, maintain the regiment. Oh Maybe yeah. Maybe not as 
involved, but definitely just with the like the thought to continue taking care of it. Because if and when you decide to let it grow out again, like it'll be ready to go. You know, you won't have to play any catch up. Two years of commitment down the drain. <laughs> yeah, that's it's tough, man. Like, like right now, even when I like just mowed into yeah. it, I uh, I was like, oh, I, should there have been a ceremony or something? Because. <laughs> Yeah, it takes so long to uh, to get past those humps, and oh, dude. I'm uh, I'm probably uh, in the rare, like in the in the in the minority when it comes to barbers encouraging their guys and gals to just grow their hair. Like they get been getting bald fades. Like hey, just let it hang out, man. It's all good. I'll be here to cut it off when you're ready. Well, that'd be a sweet mullet. <laughs> <laughs> so this point right here is the the furthest back part of his head, his occipital bone. So instead of following it down to the shape of his head, like a taper would in a classic haircut, we're just gonna go straight down so that there's a lot of length and uh, kind of grows as it gets to the bottom of the haircut. Um, or at least if we do taper it in, it's gonna be a lot less aggressively. During during that whole like start of that COVID era, I was giving myself haircuts, bro. Oh, I mean, really? <laughs> yeah, I got pretty good at like, Doing a doing a fade on the side by I myself. believe it, man. man I, I, I made a I made a little mirror that was like a three way mirror, so look I could at you. yeah. Renaissance man does it yeah. all. I uh, I was really proud of a lot of you, man. I think uh, like so many of my clients have watched me cut their own hair for so long that they uh, they just kind of had an idea how to do it. Yeah. You know what's tough about the toughest part about uh, cutting your own hair is having your hands up like this. Dude, like. So, so exhausting. I, I tried to where like I would let it get a little longer on top and then try to fade in like the top part and man, it was a disaster. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, I, gotta, I gotta take a number two to it. <laughs> now I, I think I only did like the whole like, you know, this is post, post lockdown, people are starting to show up, get haircuts again. And I only did like the, <laughs> like, like yeah, once. Well, yeah. Yeah, it was because a, a guy let his lady cut his hair. Nothing nah, against her, man. she tried, but he was like, oh, well, Bob doesn't do that. I don't think Bob does that either. And it was it was a disaster. Yeah, it Took off the hat and it was just like, oh, oh no. I uh, started rolling around in jujitsu recently. Oh, oh, yeah, man. And that has been a f***ing blast, man. Shout out to shout out to the gym, Val, jujitsu, man. Getting my butt kicked. Every single day, <laughs> every single day, man. Yeah, we got. To, uh, we were doing that for a while at uh, at work. We'd get the mats out. Oh dang! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have one guy who's ridiculously strong and really good, and been choked out quite a few times by him. Yeah, I've had my ass handed to me by a lovely lady named Katie, <laughs> lovely lady named Christina. Just like, man. Nothing wrong with that, man. Oh, no shame in it at all. These, they're just, so many people in that gym are just absolute killers. Oh, yeah. And they're very gentle with me. And they still wreck me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of fun, man. So one thing I do remember about Jordan's hair cutting it way back when was this like spot right here. It splits down the middle. And thankfully, everyone's dressing super 90s these days. So splitting it down the middle, the part right here, and the, yeah, right down the, the, right down the shaft, like it's a, uh, Good look. You don't have to worry about fighting it so much anymore. Yeah. I am leaning towards more of a fat hawk with a little bit of shag. Um, kind of reminiscent of our, our homeboy man, Eric Bainholds. We'll do a little snugger at the very bottom, the perimeter, but we'll keep a... Uh... So at this point, now I'm, uh, I'm using uh, some pretty aggressive uh, point cutting, just uh, pulling the hair out straight off the head and, and when I just chop into it, I'm really going at it with the extreme angle just to give some of that choppy, messy look. And the reason why I'm going at this angle is because when I want when the hair falls, I want there to be a really big separation. I'm not trying to, to make it a soft, you know, this soft, flowy kind of look. I want it to be a pretty aggressive. Yeah, man, I can't be soft at work. Yeah, you want this to be can't like- look soft. Ch -ch chat like <laughs> spicy. Chuck Norris. <laughs> oh man, you guys remember when the internet used to like, the things that we were focused on in the world were like 
Chuck Norris memes. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what I'm gonna do this afternoon. I should be doing my taxes, but I'm gonna be. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go on a. Nah, man, you got on a somebody. Binge of <laughs> you can have somebody do that for Chuck you. Chuck Norris binge of old memes. So right now the hair is pretty heavy with some 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 water that I was uh, using to relax it so I could cut it. We're throwing some uh, some sea salt spray. Get that get that uh, texture really working and uh, get to see the real. Magic of a mo a moma a mo 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 a a mo 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 because he's got that hair that typically sprouts as soon as you chop it to a certain length, I want to be a little bit more gentle in my approach as opposed to just like hammering it away with a clipper. Um, especially in this little transition because I want the hair to have just enough length to kind of transition smoothly to the sides as opposed to getting that almost like a disconnected look. So now I'm just like finessing, connecting all those little edges so it's, the hair's Nice and balanced all the way around. All the guys in the firehouse, are they uh, wearing out their hair too? Or? Oh, no. They've been nope, they, they keep it short. I got a lot of bald fades <laughs> from, my, yeah. from my boys in the department, man. So yeah, that's just, I mean, culture. Yeah. You're kind of an outlier when it comes to a lot of that stuff, oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah just, <laughs> just in a rock and roll attitude. Yep. Yeah, because you were, you were been, I mean, before they even gave the, the go ahead on the long hair, you were already pushing the edges. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was, yeah. You're like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm going to keep on doing it until they say no. And sure enough. Yeah. So you, you started that, that long hair from a buzz. A buzz, yeah. Some people, uh, some people have weird superpowers, man. <laughs> I guess there was like a movie about that, right? Rapunzel? There's Rapunzel, a story yeah, about that's it. right, yeah. <laughs> that was her superpower. Yeah. Shit. That magic hair, dude. I'm gonna call you Rapunzel now. Yeah, there you go. How's your head feel, man? Lighter. Probably helped me climb a little better. Lost about two pounds. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I mean, that was just one, just one chop. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so Tree Ranger Sea Salt Spray. You're still pretty damp from, uh, from you cutting it. And uh, what we're gonna do is get a nice little amount of our sea salt spray to add some of that texture. And um, you can already see like just working it from the roots to the tips, it already starts standing in on itself. And that's a great look without the uh, having to put a bunch of crunchy pomade into it. Um, that we can do on the front, and we'll do uh, some styling balm up front. So it's gonna be like a two-part kind of styling, because it's, it's two different haircuts, essentially. Blow dryer is, it helps speed up the processes to which we're trying to get that style like created, but um, sea salt spray, you can put it in wet and it'll dry on its own without any extra help and you'll get the same result. It might take a little bit longer. Obviously, that's what this, like I said, that's what the blow dryer is for. It's just kind of speeding up the process, getting a little extra volume, but it's not necessary. Putting that product to get down into the, the roots of the hair and kind of pull it up so it gets a little bit of volume, some of that texture. So it's not super classic, even though if you just ran a comb through this, slit, slit it, you know, slicked it back, it look like a handsome ass Ken doll. When I style uh, a mohawk, a mullet, to get that extra separation and texture, I, I don't just slide, you know, my hands with the product straight down. Um, I actually kind of pinch it together and twist it, make sure there's a little bit of symmetry and, uh, but at the same time, a little bit of, a little bit of chaos. That way people know like, hey, this is intentional, man. I didn't forget to cut the back of my head. 
Man, I don't use Tree Ranger too often on clients. That smells great. <laughs> you can smell? Lucky? No, yeah. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> dude, I, I haven't been able to smell in a year and a half, dude. Are you one of those? Yeah, man. Um, it sucks. That is wild. Mm -hmm. And you've gotten all the things, uh, and nothing's worked. Nothing. Really? Man. Dude, I've been doing like the, uh, the essential oils and stuff like that. You need to go see a curandera, man. Like some old Mexican lady. Yeah, dude, dude, point me in the direction. Dude, I feel like one of those old, old witches could dude. hook you up, man. Put a yeah, little egg I'm on you, you know, spit some tequila at you, do the whole thing and just mm, get that shit yeah. back because that sounds terrible. You know what I appreciated about your haircut too? Your sideburns. That's right. <laughs> Gotta keep them. It's very, uh, very firefighty of you. Man, I remember when people used to rock. Dude, uh, they, my dad still rocks still that. Still does, bro. right? Oh, yeah. I've been cutting hair for a little while. That no burn look, oh, it's terrible. Only a couple of times in my career that I've had to do that. And I like, I balk at it, but I'm glad that it's not like as ubiquitous as it used to be, yeah. man. There's I a, remember getting my hair cut like that. It was like sideburn or no sideburn? And it'd be like, no sideburn? And then just like, pack. It's yeah. just like above the ear, like. There's a. There's a guy at my work that has it. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, every time he gets a fresh cut and I see it, I make fun. <laughs> yeah. It's like, bro, all blade and no yeah. fade, man. Just like, bang. You, you know what I miss the most about a haircut? Hot towel. Hot towel and a straight razor shade. Amen man. to that, man. So listen, all you guys growing out your long hair these days, you can still come and see us. We can still trim you around the edges, even if it's like, me combing your hair for an hour, like at the end of it, I can still throw that hot towel on there, give you a nice little shave. It's uh, it's that in between little edge up that you know, just keeps you going on your journey to grow the long hair because yeah, not seeing your barber for a year and a half, two years, hey, you know, it's, it's, that's pretty traumatic. The long hair was a good look though. Thanks man. I can, I can definitely high five you on that one. Yeah, wife's sad it's gone. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. She loved it, dude. Bro, you look like such a rock star, man. At work, 100% of the time, I was in a hat. If I wasn't, like, in firefighting gear, which was kind of annoying, like, working out and stuff, always having to work out in a hat. Because, like I said, I wanted a man bun it, but... <laughs> yeah, that's dangerous territory. Dangerous territory. 100% yeah, would have got lopped off. Oh, uh, dude, oh, dude, oh, dude, it would make me sad. Yeah, they would have given you sideburns yeah. and taken off your <laughs> yeah, man bun. Yeah, <laughs> no sideburns and no, no long hair anymore. Yeah, I've been terrible. Oh. I wanted to show you the tea tree utility balm today. It smells amazing. Get it going good here. Get down to the skin underneath. That's about it. It's pretty sweet. So yeah, check it out. Tea tree utility balm.